Hello guys, welcome back again. This is Suresh from Dot Automation Channel. Today in this session, we will understand what is the bandwidth and throughput. So this is the one of the important parameters as part of performance testing everyone needs to know. So we will understand with a simple example. So there is a client, there is a server. The information shared or exchanged between the client and server, we will understand what is the bandwidth and what is the throughput from it. So here there is an LO channel which is called as a a communication channel which is capable of holding of 1 GB data or which can consume or which can uh, handle of 1 GB of data. So the amount of data that it consumes or it will provide is called as a bandwidth. So bandwidth is the maximum amount of data that can be transferred per unit of time through a communication channel is called a bandwidth. Now again uh, with that bandwidth no customer or a no client or anyone who cannot consume 1 GB of data there could be a possibilities of there could be an impact in the network lag or a server response time that will all impact and uh, even though we are trying to consume the maximum amount of uh, bandwidth but there is a possibility that there is a uh, less chance that we consume the max bandwidth so now we have understand now client is sending a request which is of uh, 500 MB or 600 MB even though we have that much of capacity due to that parameters it is reduced to 500 MB now this MB of data even though we have a bandwidth of 1 GB but there is a capacity that we can utilize max to max of 6 MB 600 to 700 MB so this is nothing but a throughput it is a number of transactions produced over a time during a test so this is what we call as a throughput and if I give you a realistic example for this we can go with the uh, small another example which is a fuel station where we have a fuel machines here we have a three count and here I can max to max serve uh, three vehicles at a time so there is a three cars I can fill the fuel for this three cars in a one go which is nothing but a throughput of three cars filling machines it is called a three per minute so without any waiting time because three cars came in three filling stations are there I will serve the need so in the next example there are the three filling stations these three filling station over a period of time it can serve me almost thousands of vehicles but at a time it can only serve three vehicles now three vehicles came in and it will fill the three vehicles fuel another three vehicles came at the same time but even though there is a capacity that it can serve a number of vehicles but at the present time it can only serve three vehicles another three vehicles has to be wait so this is also a throughput so this throughput is with the waiting is three per minute so this is how you understand the bandwidth and throughput hope this example is helpful for you in case if you have any questions queries you can post in my comment section i will help you out and if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel thank you